Hey guys, Bryce Alf here, and welcome back to Locke's Quest. I was going to say Link's Quest, but I knew that wasn't right. We are on Day 8 Build, and if you recall from last video, I was less than pleased with the setup they had given me. So, we are going to look into the setup, but first things first, we gotta deal with a traps tutorial. Yeah, we will do that. abso friggin -lutely. And they're gonna show us how a trap works. And you put it down on the ground and it's delicious. They're inexpensive, but they only last for one battle. That makes them an interesting investment, but they can be very useful. So let's quickly look at that. Oh, but we got a new enemy first as well to look at. Jeez, game, give me a break. And it's Brutes. Oh, Brutes. You're not nice. And there's our new trap, the Acid Tripwire. And we have to defend people. Hooray! Defending people is so, so good. All right, let's go build this thing. We got three minutes for this build, which is good. We're going to need it. So we got to redesign this thing, huh? Let's see what we can do. So far, so good. That looks more or less right. Yeah! All right. So we got it. Well, thank goodness for that. Alright, so let's look at what we got here. Uh, first things first, let's repair these walls, because they're all pretty hammer-danced. Alright, now... Um, actually, I shouldn't probably repair everything, because I'm going to be taking a bunch of it out. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's get the crowd control down there. You are going to come down over here. Uh... We really don't got to worry about up there, honestly. Maybe I'll just move another piece of uh, two wall over there just to close it off so they can't get in there. They may try to attack over there, and if that's the case, I'll add another cannon over there later. But first things first, let's just let's just get this whole wall thing set up in a way that makes sense. Um, probably want to build a cannon right over here, and you know what? I have another cannon right over here. It's kind of weird to put wood there, like I, like it shows, but. It is what it is. Um, you are going to go away. You get out of here. Uh, and you are going to go, like, say there, just for now. How much time do I got? I got, a mi I got two minutes still. I got plenty of time. All right. What else we got in here still? We got one of these. Now, the problem with these are, it is a problem. Make no mistake about it. It's a problem what these guys have on the go. He's only going to be helpful for stuff that comes in close, but if I set him on the outside, archers are just going to sit here and shoot it and pick it off, and that's no good to everybody involved, so... Let's just put that wall there for fun, just because we can. This gate can go die in a tire fire, and, uh, yeah. So now we got a couple cannons, three cannons there, we got three cannons here. This spot's a little weak, truth be told. So maybe what I'll do is, I'll take that out, and... Cycle that, and I'll put a gate over here. And I'm going to stick one more cannon over here just to make sure they have a reasonable chance of survival. And it has better defense, thanks to the gate. Gates are good for defense. I know I was bagging on them before, but they do add great things and extra repair speed and all that. Anyway, let's get a move on here. Put some traps down. Now, traps typically work best in choke points. You're going to want to set them up kind of staggered, if you will, so that they can help... Uh, take down enemies. Now, I'm going to try to set this up with as few as possible and set them up where enemies have to pass through them. And if you stagger them like this, like that's going to be hard for enemies to get through without hitting. They might be able to, you know, just block their way through, but this should work sufficiently well. We got an extra piece of wall over here. Well, let's just do something fun with it. Um, Yeah, that's right. I'm going to put this piece of wall right here, just because I can. Why not? Put it to use. All right, all right. I guess I could always put a piece of wall here to force them to go through the opening, but uh, I wonder if I could do that actually. Oh, I gotta hurry. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. I have no idea if that's gonna work or not. It could be a mess or a disaster or awesomeness. Regardless, though, you get to come along for this one because the brutes are gonna be here. All right, we'll see how the poison works. Uh, I, these guys will probably hit the poison first. We got some knights over there. And we got over here. Yeah. Oh, they're hitting them right now, so you're not seeing it. But here you go. See? They got poisoned, and now they're taking damage. And actually, this isn't bad. It's distracting the knight. That's not a bad thing. Distraction can really work in your favor. Yeah, there we go. 
I'm actually okay with this. So far, that's not a bad plan. If I keep it healthy, for, you know, the cost of what it is, it, it's not going to cost me much to keep that healthy. Now, the only problem with this area is that they have to get close, because this thing does not have as good of range as these, so... You really gotta let these guys get in close before they'll start getting blasted. There they come. Oh no, no, there's the brute. Brutes, brutes and knights working in tandem can knock something down in a heartbeat. They are mean son bitches. They can do what they want. They, they, they are even known to put baby in a corner. That's how badass they are. No, don't hit my fake wall. That's totally distracting you for no reason. I don't know why you're worrying about that wall, honestly. I mean, you can do what you want. I'm not going to tell you boo, but, you know, you should probably not be doing that. No, they're going to go over here and see if they can make a little mess out of stuff. But there's a brute. See, I blocked the brute. Brutes like knights, if you get in the way, you can really do some very nice things to them. All right, good. Oh, they hit my uh, crowd control. Can't hit up the... Oh, they're coming this way again. See, they're taking it easy for a first time with the brutes, because they want you to get used to them, but they're going to up the ante here at some point. All right, let's just take down the, the basic soldiers. Uh, I probably should actually be swinging at this guy a little more, but that's okay. That's okay. 13 seconds, those guys in the bottom aren't going to be able to get in here and do something serious. Uh, yeah, there we go. No, 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 no. Die. There we go. I can maybe get one of these guys. Come on, run. Run. Yes, I got, I got one of the sources. Nice. Didn't get two, but I got one, which put me over 15 grand. Awesome. I believe it maxes out at a hundred grand. All right, so that plan seemed to work pretty well. So we're probably just going to repeat it on the next round, honestly. Let's see here. That's oh, that one actually took a fair beating, actually. Truth be told, but it is what it is, and what it is is some damage. Yeah, right. That seems to be working very well. I almost went to battle. <laughs> you gotta remember. You gotta believe. But seriously. You gotta believe, guys. You gotta do it. That's actually working pretty well as a distraction. So for investment of 600, I'm saving a fair amount of repair time. Is it an actual solid investment? Who knows? And I, again, I could be paying attention to where they walk in to see where I need them, but they will walk through them if they can find a path. Not all of them, but some of them will. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Let's see what's coming for us. What's going to be a problem? Oh dear, Knights League sticklingness. They going down. Might have, not might have noticed, guys, at the 30-second mark, I took a bit of a hit there, because a brute ran right into me, and my life took a chunk, man. Those things are designed to rip your face up. That's what they do. But as you can see, if you set up a moderately good defense, and you run enough distraction, your, your walls really don't take much hits. I guess I want to toughen this wall up. I could stick one little corner piece there and add a little extra defense to that cannon, since it is the one facing most of the uh, assaults here. But I kept the thing fully healthy there, without even them really causing me any grief. Awesome. Alright, well let's put down some more traps because the traps seem to be working. And we are making a little bit of source every day. And you might be saying, Brian, why do you want to make source? Well, when you go to a new area, if you can set up with a lot of source, you can really set up a good strong defense. And after a one day feeling period, if you're getting pounded, then you can put that extra source to work. Which is huge. It's a huge advantage to have over the game. It's really nice to be able to just kind of go, nah, screw the game.
man, they brought the rush there at the end of day 10 on that one side. I wasn't paying full attention. All of a sudden, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm under assault over there. Yikes in a bucket, man. Yikes that they would dare to presume that they could get away with that. All right. I know I actually mentioned this already, and this wall probably is... Yeah, that wall took a fairly substantial beating that round. Let's, um... Let's actually put a corner piece in here like I was mentioning. Or just even a wall. A wall works. Wait, do I... Can I get that in there? Is there enough room? No, there's not enough room. Alright, um... You know what? Let's just put that there for fun, too. But yeah, we're gonna have to stick a, uh, a corner piece on this. No, 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 no. A corner... There you go. Hopefully that shouldn't impede my firing too much. You never know, though. Sometimes wall pieces can react in weird ways. And actually, while I'm thinking about it... Let's uh, move that out of there and move that over to... Here. There. That'll uh, set things up a little... Wait, no, 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 no. Get... There we go. We got our defenses set up there. We got one minute, so let's get our traps back in place. Provided we make it source, that's the main thing. And I have said I play minimal, but th this map I'm kind of laying it on a little thick. But you know what? If you got it, flaunt it. Am I right, fellas? Damn right. Ladies? Ladies? Anyone? Oh, there's no ladies on the internet. That's right. Except for Sir Barton's lady, perhaps. But still, enough chit-chat. Let's get to battle. Yet again, bring in the same. This is what I was talking about why I've been doing fast forwards. Well, that battle got a little out of hand there. You may have noticed right just before the one minute mark, I actually bailed out because my life had taken such a hit from two brutes working me over. You gotta be careful with those brutes, man. But anyway, let's see what's going on here for good old... Oh, that's not very nice. Mm, I hope not, because you look scary as hell. You look very scary. I don't want to deal with you. Okay, good. I think he's just sending in the crew. Sounds good to me. So let's just go back again and do ourselves a repair job. Damn it! Agony's Generals. We gotta take on pain. That is just fan freaking tastic, isn't it, guys? Isn't that one of those fan freaking tastic things uh, that you just you, you hear and you go, "That's just amaze balls." I am so glad that's about to happen. Jeez, that wall there was really close to crumbling, like incredibly close to crumbling. That was ridiculous. Now these walls here. They may be in an odd spot, but by setting up the poison here, some of the enemies, like the archers, have actually been stopping right here and just kind of going, you know what? I'm okay if you uh, set me up to uh, get poisoned while I shoot these things. So it's not a bad way to go, honestly. And since this is the one with pain, it might actually behoove me to uh, set this up where I'm able to uh, get them twice. I'm not sure which way he comes from, but I might be able to keep these guys poisoned longer if I invest a little more money and do a double layer. In fact, to that end, I'm going to move this a little further up. So this way, that by the time it wears off, they'll get a second round and they'll be further weakened before they get to my walls. Uh, maybe I'll move this back one. I don't want to give them too much of an opportunity here to... Uh, uh, there you go. Cause too much of a of a movement. Oh right, you're gonna be a pain in the butt, are you? Is that what you want to do? You want to be a pain in the ass? Fine. We're gonna spend a little more money here, but we are gonna be ready for these guys. A double layer means I get double hit, meaning I don't have to do as much running around to focus on them, because I gotta worry about that general. He is coming for my balls, and he is going to do bad things to them. I assume. I assume that's what he's gonna do. And he should show up on the map with a different lo uh, locator. Let's see, where is he coming from? Is he coming from the southwest? 
or is he going to come from the southeast? So far, we're not seeing him. There he comes. He's coming from this way. No, stop running into him and actually swing at him. As you can see, he's barely taking damage. Now, he's going to hurt me a lot. My goal is just to keep him distracted and get the hell out of dodge to heal up occasionally. See, my goal is just to keep him from destroying my... Uh... Could you actually hit him? Okay, he's about to hammer that one tower. There goes the tower. But that's okay. We're doing our job here. Let the work it over a little. He's going to go down pretty soon, but that's okay. We, we let him rip a few things down. We're okay with that. Except when he's going over here to really get lost. There we go. Smashed him. You can actually let him rampage a little and try to get more source, but you got to be careful because he, as you can see, can do a lot of damage. Atta boy, cut that brute down from behind. And there's a coffin to bury them in. No, I think that's our source shipment. If memory serves, that would be our source shipment. Fantastico, I say. Fantastico Tabasco. Indeed it is, Isaiah. Indeed it is. Excellent. I agree. Well done indeed. Sweet, we get to go to the capital city. No. No. Of course not. He's not scared at all. Well, whatever you say, indeed. Let's get going. Uh, are you going to follow him, Locke, or are you just going to stand there? Oh, of course. Wait. What? You didn't see him walk off just now? You're an idiot. You really are. I said I love you like a son, but that's not true. That's a nice looking place. And look at that, we get to go all the way to the capital city. We get to go all the way over to Antonia. Antonio, oh, I should say not Antonia, that doesn't make any sense. Wait, it isn't, wait, didn't it say Antonio, like, over there? Okay then, whatever. Anyway, join us next time and we'll move on and check out the capital city. It's gonna be a good one.